Hello. How you doing? Nice place to live. That was um, a piece. The song was from the repertoire of the great blind Willie Johnson, who was one of the greatest slide players of all time. Um, he was a gospel musician. He played nothing but gospel music, and he played it in open D major tuning, which this is not. This is, um, this is actually, I'm playing in the key of D because I'm capoed up at the second fret, but this tuning is actually a C tuning and it goes. Root fifth root, so that's a big rock and roll power chord right there, you see. And then it's got a fourth on top of it, which means it's completely unresolved. And then it's got another one of them. So it's got three of them like D tuning and then it's got one of those. So it's totally unresolved, and and uh, and the reason that I pl love playing in this tuning, a number of reasons, but one is this. I'll show you later on what this sounds like. But when you first pick up a guitar and want to play slide, you might give it some of that. Well, if you do it in this tuning, it goes, which is kind of surprising, really, isn't it? It's not what you expect. Elmore James wouldn't have done that. So it doesn't allow me to play cliches. It means that I have to really think about what I'm doing and play melodic lines. And it also gives me these really nice close harmonies. I'm going to play all kinds of stuff tonight, and I'm not always going to play with, with my slide. I'll play with my fingers too and talk about what happens when you transfer back and forth. But I'll sing you a song that I first heard just a couple of years ago now, written by a man called Chris Wood, who's English. Um, the first time I heard it, he'd just finished it, and he got up in, on stage at a festival in England, and he sang it. And uh, just before I went on stage, he stood and sung this song, and I literally listened to it and thought, I was going to write that. <laughs> but I didn't. He saved me the trouble. So this is uh, typical of the way that I use the slide when I'm, I'm accompanying myself. I'll, I'll use my fingers a lot to play backup chords and to play fills. And then I'll, I'll use a slide as well. I should probably have mentioned this thing, shouldn't I, really? It's only fair. This is, uh, these were probably first presented at the NAMM show about 30 years ago, I would have thought. And they're actually designed to play on electric guitar, what they do is they have a, a fancy blue light which makes you think you can do anything. You know, it's cool, right? <laughs> Got a blue light. <laughs> Basically, um, you hold this next to a plain steel string and it excites the string. And actually... <laughs> so... It's got two settings. It's got this perfectly sensible setting where you hold it on an open string and it uh, tends to play the low note. Although now it's, it's making a fool out of me and it's playing the octave harmonic. So there you go. It's going to refuse to behave right. However, you play a high note there. Ah, there's the low note, right? High note, low note, lower note, climbing. All very sensible, really. As I say, it only works on one string. And then you've got this, which is the, oh dear, I think somebody's put something in my drink setting, where the open string is very high indeed, and you go for a high note, and it's a lot lower, and then you go for a low note, and it's a lot higher. These, ladies and gentlemen, are very much cheaper than drugs, and a lot better. <laughs> No side effects as far as we know. Although I don't think I'd leave it switched on in my pocket for long. 